Bubble Life here with Caitlin and today we are in my reality bubble and we are tackling a really tough topic. It is called self-defense. Yeah, I realise that kids today don't know what to do if they were in a self-defense situation where they needed to use self-defense because people just care about tech or how they look or what they're doing more than what, if they, what they would do if they had to be attacked. And what actually made me realise was that there was a fight at a school. And it was just a simple schoolyard fight and they didn't know what to do. Now, also I realized that boys and girls both had become princesses. You think that the world today, you don't need to know self-defense. But it's not that. The world isn't perfect. You're going to need self-defense. And you guys have become princesses thinking that there's always going to be someone to rescue you. But sometimes you need to come and rescue yourself. And I actually found a really nice say, a saying for if you had to actually be in a situation, what you need to remember. Remember, blood clots, sweat dry, bone heals. So, suck it up and do what needs to be done so that you don't walk away with a broken arm or, or a blue eye. And I actually found 10 steps I want to speak about. Tip number one would be to stay clear of a fetal position. You guys don't want to be in it. It's actually really bad really probably the worst position to get into. I did do a clip on what to do if you were in a fetal position. So number two, be vigilant. Know your surroundings. See, don't be on your phone or chatting to your friends all the time or reading a book because if you can't know your exes, you're an easy target. You're going to be easily attacked with everything. Number one, number three, your number one self-defense, which is run away. It sounds super cowardly, yeah, especially for me because I do martial arts myself, specifically Taekwondo. And running away, yeah, it sounds cowardly, but just know, 100 meter dash, if nobody can catch you, nobody can do anything to you. Number one self defense, stay away. Number four, stay clear of shady characters or shady areas. You know, you don't want to be in a place where you see like there's a gang over there or walking into an alley, a dark alley alone. Where there could be a person lying behind the corner. Or if you made a, maybe you make trouble in this particular group. And then you stay clear of that group because they're probably going to come for you. You know, today people want to come for revenge. Even though revenge never works. So number five, know your exit. If you enter a room, know what your exit plan would be if there had to be an emergency. Now this doesn't only uh, cover, say, for if you were being attacked in that room. Say they were striking or something and they get in. You need to know your exit points. Tip number six, make a scene. Say you can't outrun this person now and they actually get to you. Just make sure that you run to a place where you can attract lots of attention. Because the more attention you're going to get, the more you're going to have hope that someone's going to use their common sense to help you in that situation. Number seven. Now this one is... Really a weird one, but I want you to act like an angry cat. I need you to tell them, what do you want? What are you looking for? You need to scare them. You need to put them off, your ga off their game a little bit. Because you need to remember, you're entering a fight where that person's prepared and knows what they're going to do to you, and you are not prepared. Tip number eight, I need you to lo lose unnecessary weight. So if you <laughs> have your bag on you, you need to lose it. So because our school bags today are very heavy, you're going to take it off. But you're not just going to take it off and just look down because then you're going to get attacked. You need to keep looking at the person while you put that bag down and know that you're probably going to need to do a runaway emergency dash. Like, fuck, you need to get out there. You also need to remember that you need to stun that person to get away because you kind of want to get out of that situation. You don't want to be responsible if that person gets extremely hurt because you know what you're doing. Number nine, you need to keep your hands by your jaw. Remember, there are knockout points over here. So you don't want to be knocked out in a fight. It's a really bad situation. So you need to keep your hands here. You need to keep them there. You need to make sure that there is protected. So number 10, I really encourage you to go and join a martial arts group. Because what would you rather be? Someone who enters a fight that at least knows a little bit of what they're doing? Or someone who doesn't know anything about what they are doing in that fight? Also, martial arts gives you a lot of, it teaches you a lot about yourself. It teaches you about honor, discipline, respect, integrity. It teaches you all about that as well. You can join any martial arts. I specifically do Taekwondo. 
I really enjoy it. I recommend it to anybody because I think anybody can do it. It has forms, weapons forms, sparring, weapons sparring, which is fighting for those who want to do fighting. And if you want to just do martial arts just because you want to go attack someone, don't go do it at a school. Go take someone in the ring where they both have an equal opportunity to win. That's the only way it's going to be a fair fight. Now, I'm not encouraging you guys to go start fights because it's not a smart idea. Nobody wants to walk around with a blue eye. It's not cool if you're a blue eye. I also wanted to say special thanks to Kona von Staden for allowing me to use Kona Saikwano Academy and to film there and everything. I also want to say special thanks to Florence for being my dummy, you know, doing all the self-defense with me. I also want to say another special thanks to my brother, Balian. Thank you for being my runaway dummy. Thank you so much, Balian. I also want to say now that I'm with the running away, if you run away, don't run away like a chicken with its head cut off in a circle because you're not going to get anywhere. You need to run to an exit point to make a C. So you'll see that the tips, they fall into each other. They're like little keys and puzzle pieces. So we're going to get to the self-defenses. I'm also going to go off here. So bubble out. Kanako Superman, Batman, Iron Man, Spider-Man, Vs. Exalio, Opas, and the Donker.